Hi everybody and welcome to part 3 of my analysis of the latest study on global penile size from Stanford University. So has porn something to do with the trend of increasing penis size? This is what this video is all about. If you missed part 1 and 2, I recommend that you watch those first and especially part 1 since it will give you my analysis regarding strengths and weaknesses of the study. My name is Stefan Buntrock, I'm a board certified urologist and sexologist. If you enjoy my content, I would appreciate if you liked my videos and subscribe to your channel. You can do this right here, right now by clicking the logo in the lower right hand corner of your screen. So as you might remember, the key finding of the study was a 24% increase in penile length over a period of 29 years between 1992 and 2021. So, I mean, the study is from one of the top academic institutions in the United States. I would therefore assume that they know their statistics and that the calculation is correct. So the question arises, why would penis size increase since the beginning of the 90s? One simple explanation would be that humans are getting taller because it may be assumed that a man 6 feet 5 not only has longer arms and legs as a man 5 feet 2, but also a longer penis corresponding to the larger proportions of his body. Now, it has been shown that body height has increased constantly over the past 100 years. I just picked a study from Poland where they measured male students at Warsaw University between 1959 and 2012. For our purposes, this is a suitable study as they also compared long periods of time as they do in the Stanford study. According to this study, the typical male student at Warsaw University was 5 feet 8 in 1994 and roughly 6 feet in 2012. So there was a slight increase about 1%. If this is enough to let penises grow by larger percentages is not certain. Changes in height may be different in other countries but I rather doubt that they were more than just a few percent. Could the increase be explained by internet porn? If we just look at the year of publication and participant numbers since 1992, 69 out of the 75 studies analyzed were conducted between 1992 and 2021. Regarding internet porn, I would say it really took off somewhere around the year 1999. The studies between 1992 and 1998 comprised 1,439 study subjects. Between 1999 and 2021, 51,101 study subjects were analyzed. So we can say that there are data from 4,660 men prior to the era of internet pornography and over 51,000 when internet porn was available. Sure. Pornography was around even before 1999, but the internet really made a difference in terms of accessibility, age of exposure and the exponential growth of the industry and material available. So with a majority of adolescents and young men exposed to images showing large penises, it is likely that these well-endowed men served as role models. Consecutively, self-reported measurements would be expected to have a tendency to meet this new standard. This might be an explanation of the increasing penile length because, as I already pointed out, the studies included into the meta-analysis often report self-measured penile lengths. Another point may be the relatively low number of 4624 measurements between 1942 and 1985, which is a period of 50 years as opposed to 51,137 measurements over 29 years from 1992 to 2021. More study subjects may also mean more accuracy. Here are part one and two of this video series. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.